my kind of message to business students is you are privileged. You are being tutored for things that are going to be really fun and take advantage of it. Learn, um, expose yourself, suck every bit of it up because when you get out there in the real world, it's it, you're, you're going to look back on these days very fondly and hopefully you'll continue to be a lifelong learner and go back to school again because that's what I've basically done. I was looking forward to that. Uh, an MBA program should, uh, was that when I was looking at it, was something that could open new doors. And so far, uh, from my classmates, you get ideas of what they what they do on a daily basis. Um, so you have that model where the cohort ex uh, shares their expertise, and I enjoyed that. I'm also really impressed with. It's been three months into the program, and we've had a professional career development day in which you have a day long seminar, listening to speakers talk about different segments and sectors. That was really appealing. Um, and I can't even mention the amount of times that we've been invited to a workshop or a luncheon speaker series. So uh, overall, there's a breadth of opportunities to find new areas to, to, to meld into. A fellow student of ours was, uh, her, her name is Sarah Birnbaum, and she was working with uh, Verizon at the time and uh, had a lot of groups with her and got to know her real well. And uh, I knew that she was looking for some more opportunities and specifically looking to get into healthcare. And you know, just because of her work and who she was as a student, it was almost a no-brainer for us to try and tee her up and get her over to uh, GE. So fortunately, the interviews worked out and uh, she accepted a position. And then uh, two months into her role, she was asked to go back for training. And she was in a class of about 15 people and she was awarded the MVP award of the entire class. So you know, here's somebody that had no healthcare experience, no GE experience, but goes back to training and uh, wins the MVP award. So of course I felt as if I had something to do with that as well, but you know, it was, it was a good hire for us and I think she's, uh, she's doing really well in the job right now. I like eighth week for career service reasons because it gives, not only gives us a break from, from the academics, but also it enables us to really hone a lot of our interviewing skills. And we had a consultant that had come in from a communications organization in Texas. And I'd been through multiple different experiences with interviews, um, whether it was for, from undergrad or from graduate school. And the consultant was really interesting because he, he said to me, you're great at interviewing, but you're very abrupt. You stop your sentences really quickly. And for me, that was always something that I thought I was being appropriate to the interviewer, not taking up too much of their time, but he saw it as something, you know, that I, it was a fault of mine. It's not something that had never been pointed out to me. So I appreciated that I finally was able to recognize that trait in myself and was able to improve it in the future. First and foremost really was that it's in San Francisco, so it's in the heart of the city. Um, so, you know, all of your instructors are people who have worked for, um, you know, Fortune 500 companies and had, you know, they were the CFOs or CEOs, and so they have all of this tremendous experience. Um, and then also in terms of other, you know, internships or other possibilities um, for maybe future career opportunities, you're here in San Francisco, so you're just surrounded by it. USF has enabled me to make a lot of connections, and one of them is through the alumni here. And one of the alumni, Chip Dregs, I had met at the Venture Capital Investment Competition, my participation there last year. And he presented his business plan, the company he's currently working on, and I just found it very fascinating. USF is very much known for its entrepreneurial spirit and innovation, and so I really want to get involved with his startup company. And this led to an internship opportunity where I was able to put to practice the learnings I've been gathering at USF.